Zombie Apocalypse. What is going on you guys, Bastion Waiju here, and I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about a really, really cool archetype that's going to be coming out of Blazing Vortex, and that is going to be the Spriggans archetype. Uh, this deck has just been so, so much fun, and if, if any deck is going to go ahead and make it out of Blazing Vortex, it's definitely going to be the Spriggans. But if you guys do enjoy the content, I do go ahead and please ask you guys to go ahead and smash that like button down below. It really does help me out as far as, you know, uh, working that YouTube algorithm, getting the word out there. Go ahead and share this video with anyone who wants to go ahead and learn about uh, Spriggans and how they work and really what it takes in order for them to be you know successful and all, all these really great things. Now as far as Spriggans Artech is concerned guys, uh, it shows so much consistency and so much strength that it's just, it's just gonna be the deck that's gonna be the chase. I'm looking right now at my uh, <laughs> At my uh, my whiteboard right here, making sure that you know it's good. But it is it's the only deck that I see coming out of Blades of Fortune that's really going to go ahead and be able to make that impact. And we're going to wait while the garbage truck finishes this thing. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, so the spring and start time. We're going to go ahead and start it out with uh, we can start out with with the field spell. So the field spell, vast desert gold gondola. Uh, all Spriggans, Xyz monsters you currently on the field gain a thousand attack. All right off the bat, great effect. Blanket, just all your monsters, a thousand attack higher. Amazing. A million times better than the war. If the war rock had this, had this effect where it gains a thousand attack, then I'd say, all right, we can work with it. But 200 attack, get out of here with that crap. It's not about the war rocks. <laughs> all right. Uh, so the vast desert goes on, like gains a thousand attack to all Spriggan's Exes monsters. You can only use each effect of the following, uh, you can each of the following effects of Bass Desert Gold Gold Gondola once per turn. If you control no Spriggan's Xyz monsters, you can discard a Spriggan's card and special summon a Spriggan's Xyz monster from your extra deck. Which means you can special summon an Xyz monster for free without having any monsters on the field. What also is good in that all of the, all of not most of these Spriggan's monsters have the same effect where if they're in the hand, field, or GY, you can go ahead and target a Spriggan's Xyz monster you currently control and just attach it as a free material. That's absolutely nuts. Um, so hand, field, or graveyard, target Spriggan's monster, uh, Captain Sergis, uh, the, the Spriggan's Banger, uh, Spriggan's Rocky, all these have the same type of blanket effect which is the hand, field, or graveyard, you can attach it to a monster. Even if you discard it, you're really not losing anything. It's a free special summon of an Xyz monster, and it's just an amazing, amazing field spell already. Especially the Xyz monster from your extra deck, and if you have a face of Xyz monster, uh, you control these field by a card effect. Uh, you can target one monster your opponent controls, and it kind of not attack for the rest of this turn. Why is this so good? If you look and read at all the Xyz monsters, they banish themselves as a quick effect during your opponent's turn. You. That's immediate interruption right there. The fuel spell for Spriggans is absolutely insane, right? So because the the Xyz the Xyz monsters really take care of themselves as far as removing themselves off the field, that way that means that they're taking away uh, leaves the field. They're leaving themselves by a card effect. It does not say by your opponent's card effect. That's already such such a good thing. Um, next, uh, I, I mean, that's <laughs> I could go on about this field spell forever, but it's absolutely nuts, guys. Um, next, gonna be Spriggan's Watch is the most broken searcher I've ever read. So basically, this is terraforming, uh, reinforcement of the army, this uh, specific or foolish burial uh, for the archetype. And since it, since all the monsters pretty much attach themselves from the hand field or grave, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're just gaining advantage and advantage and advantage. Spriggan's Watch is such a good card. Uh, it's absolutely insane. So basically, Spriggan's Watch, uh, first effect, add a vast desert gold gondola from your deck uh, to your hand. Or if uh, the gold gondola card is already in your field zone, you can apply one of the other effects. Uh, you can apply the following effect instead of, sorry. So you can add a Spriggan's monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, Send one Spriggan's monster from your deck to your GY. Absolutely broken card. That's two searchers, two searches basically if you have the field spell on board. Because they're gonna both be attaching themselves to the XC's monster to gain that effect anyway. Absolutely insane guys. Like it's it's just and, and it the fact that it it naturally has synergy 
with the Dogmatica archetype is absolutely insane. Um, so I mean, this is, this is a card that this is a card you're gonna have to play is a triple of the Dear Servant, uh, which I understand the price point of it, but it's definitely worth it. The Megatons are coming out hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, but that's it. it I, I'm, I'm at a loss of words to perfectly honest with you guys. I mean, this art type is just so much fun. Um, it has so so many good interruption. You can play triple dogmatic punishment with the Ecclesia. Uh, you make sure you play one of the uh, the Fleur de Lis. Uh, one uh, one Maximus, and it's really all you need as far as like the Dogmatica or the Dogmatica engine, I should say. Um, next we go to the the Spriggan's booty. Um, it's probably the first time I've said it, booty on YouTube, but here we go. Uh, if an Xyz monster you control leaves your field by a card effect, not by opponents, by any card effect, which is including its own, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. Players cannot activate that effect monster's effects on the field this turn. I'm most likely not going to have my opponent's monster, so that's perfectly fine. It pretty much looks like an uh, effect veiler uh, for free. No, for free, technically, right? Uh, you can send this face up card to the graveyard, activate a vast desert gold gold gondola directly from your deck or graveyard. Even if you, even if your opponent gets rid of the goddamn field spell, it will still come back. That's absolutely freaking insane. Um, I, I just don't know what <laughs> any negative things I can really say about the archetype to be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, uh, let's go ahead and look at the more like the, the monsters, I guess. Uh, Spriggan's PD. Uh, you can trigger this card, target a Spriggan's monster in your graveyard, except Spriggan's PD special summon it. You can only use each effect of Spriggan's PD uh, once per turn, but anyway, if you target and special summon, let's say you special summon an Xyz monster, you can go ahead and just re equip it. And you, you're gaining just so much advantage, it's insane. Absolutely insane. And even if you have like the, the, the big ones in, in in your hand, they're not bricks. Uh, you know, that like they, they'll work with you. If this card is in your hand, feel the graveyard, check this friggin' monster, yada yada yada. You can banish this card and one friggin' monster from your GUI, except another banger, and add a friggin' card from your deck to your hand. So it's, it's just nuts. Uh, banger is actually. Crazy, Sargis is actually crazy, uh, Rocky is crazy good. Uh, so Rocky, uh, if you guys don't know, is a normal special summon. You can target one Spriggan's monster or Vast Desert Gold Gondola in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it has so many ways to just bring back the field spell, which is a, it's something that I haven't really seen many archetypes do, is just blanket protection of that field spell. You know, you live and die by the field spell, not necessarily, like the deck can still play with without it, but with it and because it's so so focused on it you never have to worry about losing the advantage of having that field spell no matter what happens during the duel there's so many ways to go ahead and get that field spell right back on the board and you know to be able to just pulverize your opponent it's absolutely insane uh let's see as far as like the xc's the spriggan's merry maker it's a crazy card um this card is special summon from the extra deck you can it, and i love how these know the synergy as well so they don't have to be XZ summoned as long as they are special summoned from the extra deck. So that's Desert Gold Gondola, it's perfectly fine. Uh, you can send one Spriggan's monster from your deck to the graveyard, which mainly means you're gonna gain that second advantage. So if you activate Gold Gondola, discarding a Spriggan's monster to special summon Merrymaker, you activate the you activate uh, the um, you activate Merrymaker, right? You send Foolish Burial another Spriggan's monster that you can go ahead and attach two Spriggan's monsters from your grave to it and if this card has two or more material okay so during your opponent's main or battle phase you can act you can banish this card which means it's leaving the field by a card effect right and then if this card had two or more materials you can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that lists Fallen of Alibus as a material and you can only use uh Mirror Maker once per turn it's absolutely fine because then we can go ahead and send the the uh, the Ash Dragon or the Steel Express Dragon uh, new fusion card is coming out as well. Uh, so basically, during the end phase of this card is sent to the graveyard because it's sent to this turn. You can add to your hand special summon one Spring's monster or one uh, or Fallen of us from your deck. You can only use the, each effect this, uh, of uh, the 
this dragon <laughs> once per turn, right? And it's, it, it just has so much fluidity to it, right? Uh, and then, but the, of course, you're gonna have your, your big, uh, your boss monster is gonna be um, the, <laughs> sorry, the rank 8 XCs. So basically, you can choose one opponent's ma uh, monster zone or spell and trap cards from detach any number of materials from this card, right? And if you do destroy that many cards, your opponent controls that are in chosen zones and or monster zone spell and trap card zones, top, bottom, or adjacent zones. Uh, equal to the number of cards that you uh, detached. So that alone, let's say that you do activate the the Spriggan's X Bowler Blower, and you have a whole bunch of cards in your graveyard. You're gonna go ahead and just attach a whole bunch of Spriggan's, and it's basically a just uh, it's like a how you would I don't really know how to scrap, but it's like I right, saw so you. Let's say that you. All right, so let's say you target the main monster zone that's right underneath the extra deck zone and they have a link monster there, right? So you can destroy that link monster, uh, the, the monster next to it, the monster next to it, the main monster zones, and then the uh, spell and trap that's right under it is absolutely just, just ridiculous. Like zones matter so, so much in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, especially with this deck, it's gonna be, if you're gonna be going up against it, you better spread your cards <laughs> out. Uh, because this deck will just absolutely just obliterate your entire field. So it's absolutely, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just so much fun. As far as negative, I mean, it it might be uh, missing maybe one or two uh, other extra deck cards. So you can go ahead and send off of the Merrymaker. Uh, maybe something that has a little bit more interruption. But that's really all I can really ask for this deck. It's been absolutely insane. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing, testing it online. And honestly, I'm just really looking forward to Blazing Vortex, specifically because of this one archetype. Uh, so hopefully it won't be too crazy. I know you are going to have to play the Nadir Servant, which I understand is a little bit pricey for a lot of people. Just hope, hope, hope that the Mega Tens will come sooner rather than later. And then that will take care of that price tag. Or if it gets reprinted, absolutely fine in a lesser set. Or if they just want to make it a common, I'm cool with that too. As long as it makes it like a dollar or two dollars per copy, that's perfectly fine. Unlike Photon Sanctuary, which is five to and it's getting too much. Uh, but if you guys go ahead and did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like down below. Comment down what is your favorite archetype going to be coming out of Blazing Vortex. Right now, you got S Force, Arm Dragon, uh, War Rock, <laughs> and then of course Spriggans. Um, and go ahead and subscribe for more videos, guys. And I will see y'all in the next one.